good morning to all today's topic is endocrine disorders okay what are the endocrine endocrine glands tell me endocrine glands or thyroid parathyroid pituitary adrenal glands okay today's topic is adrenal gland okay next class we discussing about thyroid parathyroid pituitary glands today's only we discussing about adrenal glands adrenal glands diseases syndromes signs and symptoms oral manifestations and treatment plan okay coming to today's topic adrenal gland adrenal glands also known as suprarenal glands or endo uh, adrenal glands are endocrine glands that produce a variety of hormones including adrenaline cortisol aldosterone okay adrenal glands are found above the kidneys this is the cut section of adrenal gland okay these are the kidneys right kidney this is left left side kidney okay adrenal gland situated situated um adrenal gland is there above the kidney here see the adrenal gland this is right side adrenal gland this is left side adrenal gland okay adrenal gland is small triangular shape gland okay situated above the kidneys okay normal adrenal gland weight is 6 to 11 grams each okay next this is the parts of adrenal gland this is the cortex first part second part is medulla okay each adrenal gland has two parts that is outer adrenal cortex and inner medulla okay both of which produce hormones cortex produce cortisol aldosterone medulla produce epinephrine not epinephrine okay these four hormones are essential to normal functioning the body they control many important functions including blood pressure state of stress and blood sugar levels metabolism pregnancy stress response balance of estrogen and testosterone hormones and activation of the sympathetic sympathetic nerve system fight or flight response and diurnal diurnal pattern of secretion retention of sodium and maintenance of blood pressure okay next associated diseases of adrenal gland okay these are two types cushing's disease or syndrome addison's disease or syndrome okay first we are discussing about cushing's syndrome what is cushing's syndrome this is very important for your exams okay this is a two marks question or four marks question in your university exams asking you asking you four marks question or two marks question okay cushing syndrome what is cushing syndrome cushing syndrome is excess secretion of glucocorticoids by adrenal gland okay this is a cushing syndrome 
hormone levels are increased in Cushing syndromes. Okay, results from adrenal adenoma, adrenal carcinoma, adrenal hyperplasia, medical therapy with exogenous corticosteroids. Okay, Cushing disease is basophilic adenoma of the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland producing excess adrenocorticotrophic hormone okay acth full form is adrenocorticotrophin signs and symptoms of cushing syndrome what are the signs and symptoms of cushing syndrome main characteristic features of future is new face and buffalo hum okay moon face this excessive fat deposition in temporal fossa and supraclavicular area okay see the first picture this is the moon face okay here the supraclavicular area okay next buffalo hump okay dorsal cervical areas buffalo hump is seen in dorsal cervical areas okay see the second picture this is the buffalo hump okay other signs and symptoms are acne hirsutism central obesity proximal muscle pasting okay what is mean by hirsutism hirsutism is excess growth of hair okay these are the signs and symptoms of cushing's syndrome next cutaneous atrophy easy bruising purple strain osteoporosis mutual irregularities hypertension diabetes immunosuppression psychiatric symptoms these are or seen in cushing disease patients okay next oral manifestations of cushing's syndrome what are the oral manifestations hematomas after mild trauma delayed growth and development of skeletal and dental structures oral candidiasis recurrent herpes labialis and herpes zoster infections gingival and periodontal infections impaired wound healing okay these are the oral manifestations next dental management of cushing syndrome appropriate antibiotic prophylaxis careful attention to wound healing stress management during invasive surgical procedures okay the cushion syndromes signs and symptoms oral manifestations and treatment next addison's disease what is addison's disease what is the adrenal insufficiency okay which hormone is decreased um, levels okay addison disease how decreased cortisol levels okay that's why adrenal we call adrenal insufficiency okay addison's disease is due to loss of pituitary function autoimmune destruction replacement of adrenal glands loss of adrenal tissue due to tumors tuberculosis and sarcoidosis okay next signs and symptoms okay decreased levels of cortisol in 
morning times okay exact time 8 am okay increased level of adenocorticotrophy hormone level okay other signs and symptoms are anorexia wasting weight loss nausea stress induced hypotension hyperpigmentation stress induced shock and cardiovascular collapse next oral manifestations oral manifestations or facial skin pigmentations seen in sun exposed areas only sun exposed areas okay next tan like complexion and lip gingival margins buccal mucosa palate lingual surfaces of the tongue okay irregular spots same okay pale brown to gray or black color seen in these patients next treatment okay administration of the corticosteroids increasing the risk of the immunosuppression susceptibility to oral candidiasis infections and recurrent herpes labialis infection patients herpes zoster patients okay and gingival and periodontal infections in and impaired unhealing conditions okay next patients with adrenal insufficiency produce inadequate cortisol in response to stress okay next patients may experience severe hypotension nausea cardiovascular events stroke coma and death double the daily dose of oral corticosteroids the day before the surgery and on the day of the surgery okay 